Hi Virgo, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. We're just going to get a quick message for you, Virgo. Let's see, what's happening here? Could be dealing with an Aquarius. I got chills. The star. Some type of wish coming true here. Queen of Cups. And having all of these feel good emotions, all the emotions that would come with this dream of yours coming true. Ace of Swords, a sweet victory, a breakthrough. So I see you feeling really good about some type of breakthrough happening for you. This could be a breakthrough in communication, a breakthrough in success, but it's just, this is about getting what you want, what it is you have been, you know, wishing for, hoping for. I also see you receiving clarity here and feeling emotionally better about a situation we have the Emperor, could involve your career for some of you guys, but this could also involve a divine counterpart. Why the star? King of Cups. We have a King and a Queen of Cups. So you're coming into alignment with emotional fulfillment, okay? Now I am getting love, okay? True love happening for you. like an understanding love, a kind love, like very well balanced, okay? We have the six of swords, protective energy. Somebody here wants to protect the connection with you and tell you that they love you. Moving into calmer waters here emotionally with each other. Now, again, I am still seeing that breakthrough in career here. Okay, we have the magician. This is communication, clarity coming in. You're, you manifested this, okay, or you are manifesting this. This is, you're getting, you're going to get exactly whatever it is you want out of this situation. Six of Pentacles. And it's going to be very generous. There's a very generous offer coming towards you that you have manifested. So this is all about stability getting offered. And I do feel like you're going to be in a state of having a lot of control here. Whether this be control over a job situation, this is some type of advancement, career advancement. But I'm also getting a leveling up in your love life. King of Pentacles for sure, okay? You're getting some type of promotion or, you know, just offer of stability here. Two of Cups. Coming into alignment with whatever exact, whatever it is you're wanting. I see you coming into alignment with that. And I am specifically getting like a leveling up in career and also a leveling up in love. And you've been manifesting this, okay? You're coming into union with somebody here that wants stability. And you know, the King of Pentacles, this is somebody here that wants to build a stable foundation. A very generous person.
Eight of Pentacles. That's all about you mastering a skill, okay? But there's an opportunity coming towards you. I just, guys, there's somebody that's so consistent and loyal, and you're manifesting this person, okay? We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. This is after going through some type of betrayal. I feel like you guys are healing from this betrayal, and you have real boundaries set. And you're moving on from the Seven of Swords. So it's like something that once fulfilled, like something that once filled up your day in your mind. It's like you're moving to calmer waters, you're healing, you're getting over that. And now you're manifesting a true love. One that's not going to betray you. One that's not sneaky, okay? Somebody who is consistent. Somebody who does speak to you and they speak up about how they're feeling. This is coming for you. Four of Swords, so... A lot of you guys are still recuperating from something that hurts you. But this Four of Swords energy in the star, this is all about taking a step back and really thinking about whatever it is you want and your steps towards moving into it. Like, what steps can you take to get what it is you want, Virgo? What steps can you take to get this wish that you're wanting? And also, I'm getting Four of Swords, take a step back and reassess. What is it that you exactly want? Because I'm getting you're going to manifest it. But you got to get very clear here with the universe and with yourself. And the Eight of Pentacles is also you being consistent, okay, and you working towards your own personal self and your own goals here to manifest what it is you want. I see you getting it. What's the advice for Virgo? Spirit, what is the advice for Virgo, please? Will of Fortune. So things are moving in a positive direction for you with the Will of Fortune. I feel like your advice is to just allow destiny to play out. Tell me more. And don't be, okay, tell me more before I say that. Okay, that's what I was going to say. Ten of Swords. Don't be so fixated on the things that have hurt you or the things that could potentially hurt you. Uh, that could be the advice. I feel like moving on from something that hurt you or just understanding that whatever happened, happened for a reason. We have Fate with the Will of Fortune and then we have the Ten of Swords. There's something very painful that happened in your past, Virgo, that has made you who you are today. Had it not happened, you would not be this exact version you are today. And so understanding that it was a part of your destiny and it was a part of helping you become who you are. Okay, it could have been a karmic situation, all right, um... I feel like the big advice here is to move on from it um, and to definitely take the time to recuperate and heal and lick those wounds. But this has shown you that you deserve so much better. This has shown you what you do not want. And so all of that being said, manifest whatever it is that you do want. And I see you getting it. I see that happening for you. I see you getting this stable, mature love. I see you getting this position, this career that's in alignment with your passion, your heart and soul. And I do see you leveling up in life with the Six of Pentacles all together. This is an advancement in life.
signs you could be dealing with. Uh, I have Aries, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Leo. All right, Virgo, those are your messages. Until next time, bye.